The Neuralink coming back, it's basically, it's, 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 uh, it's claiming that it, it treats uh, mental illness or gene coding, I think, uh, treats cancer or other things. Um, I, oh, no, no, that was CRISP, I think. You're, do you know? Oh, oh, oh uh, you're, uh, CRISPR is a, gen- is, is a genetic altering tool. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was that's confused CRISPR. between. Yes, that's CRISPR. Neuralink is Neuralink where, is like, they, uh, they uh, alter your state of mind, exactly. like your emotions. And, uh, like, I, I've heard someone said that, like, you can save your state of emotion, like this, like a saved game. Wow. Yeah, it's, um, I, I'm like... Wow. It it, le- it's, yeah. It's so there's like talk about human upload. I mean, um, ideally, how long do you think until it, it's, it's in the market? We have it now. Wait, really? We have it now. Are, are you saying that we are uploading uh, that stuff into human skull right now? We have the ability. We have it. I mean, some, uh, someone is smart enough to be on a chip. I saw a monkey on a chip. Have you seen that video? Like the monkey of... <laughs> yeah, the like, monkey mind pong. Yeah, dude, that was like... People thought it was the most awesome thing since sliced bread. I, it almo- When I saw it, I'll be honest, dude, it broke my heart. <laughs> but it's amazing because monkey can control uh, a ping pong game from his, uh, you know, from his... Uh, Cognition or whatever, like the electric signals firing in his brain. I do. It's crazy. I guess. Dude, did you know that monkey died? Really? That monkey fucking died. No, I thought it was like the preliminary testing phase, right? Or the, I mean, the monkey died of a skin infection because the implant was such a piece of shit. Yeah, that's why they're testing on monkeys and stuff like you know, like but monkeys uh, are Jacob big. I mean, from like, California. I get where you're coming from, but like monkeys are big animals to waste yeah, no, in know. the United yeah, States. No. I mean, those are big ass animals. Animals, you said monkeys are big ass animals. Monkeys are big ass animals. Wait, are you talking about like regular monkey, chimpanzees, gorilla? They're like they have a monkey. Like, well, a monkey is just like a human. Right? Yeah. So it's like, well, it's okay if a monkey dies. And but yeah, I don't know. But it's just a big... No, I'm not saying it's okay for a monkey <laughs> to die. No, monkeys shouldn't die. No. <laughs> a monkey should die from natural causes, not from like, uh, I, I think... Not, uh, from, not from an implant skin infection until it turns green. Yeah. Oh. But they do that with every medical or technological procedure where they try it with the monkey first because that's the most similar... Uh, brain that we have come i mean if you if you take a human and then the most what's the next you know organism or being that has the similar yes so i guess that's that makes sense but it's still not okay for the monkey to die i think he had a name too you know what (laughs) i don't remember the monkey's name but i'm passionate about it anyway no it's crazy man i mean it's crazy how Neuralink actually i've i've also heard like i mean i read articles about Neuralink. i used to but i just lost lost hope um, in humanity. But <laughs> <laughs> Was there a reason for that? For losing hope or reading uh, about Neuralink? <laughs> for, for losing hope in humanity. Oh, I just lost hope at like six. <laughs> <laughs> it was in high school. No. Uh, so, <laughs> so no, um, I, I've read about Neuralink and it's like, you know, you can control, you, like we don't even have to talk. I can see your thoughts i can understand your thoughts because there's like like bluetooth or infrared like i can understand your thoughts and feelings without even communicating so okay interesting oh yeah, yeah that's true humans do have that ability i mean not without the uh, neural link oh com- oh communicating yeah 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 well people you know people have that extra sense in conversation yeah they almost sense like people like uh people are deeply spiritual now so just like you were saying like i'm thinking well, on the topic, if you can upload, like, a human child, or, like, if you can upload a monkey, which mm-hmm. might, might as well be a human child, that's a lead. Even if you can upload, like, a human baby, that might, I mean, for all, it, what we know is that, like, that alone is, like, a driver. Mm. You know, that's that's the life to support, like, a human body. So even if we were able to replicate, like, our consciousness on a chip, and it was just the power of a human baby. Not very much. Not self-aware, but but uh, uh, always perceiving. Right. Um. You, are you saying that's consciousness? 
I would say that is consciousness, and I would say that uh, uh, the uh, like the p- mind pong surgery was a good lead to that because through that they were kind of able to understand the monkey kind of aging to like what he thought was the ability of a human child. They're so close to human, so what they were able to track the development, like, oh, okay, well, this monkey is a bit more intelligent. He knows that, um, he knows something that other monkeys do not. Not everyone in the world is getting this implant. Yeah. And so, and so, it's just like, it's just like, what is this dumpy little company? I'm sorry, I was like, I was still on the topic of Neuralink, because I love, I love topics like this. What is this dumpy little company coming up with this idea, coming up with these ideas for to make money to make money yeah they're not making any money uh, they will they will i know they will and you know i checked um one interesting thing is i checked um some of their business insights and it looks like they're they're reporting to make like 1.5 million dollars per year they're not really yeah, you're saying they're overstating the financials. Well, you know, it's um, as you know, it's a brain machine interfacing lab. But what they're doing in there is experimental surgery. Oh wow, I did not know that. Well, how else would that monkey get that thing? But if they're experimenting with it, would they like broadcast it? Like, uh, you know, it's. Uh, well, the surgery like this has never been done before. Like, you know, implanting one in your brain or like anyone's exactly. brain? Well, the, yeah, an implant in someone's brain, but, but the purpose of the surgery was mind pong. Oh, so it was limited to playing mind pong. Exactly. So oh. it was just a little connection that the monkey made. Okay, well, now I'm getting surgery. Well, now I'm playing mind pong, and here's the, here's the, uh, I have these directions. But this was done in like not just like like an AI lab, like uh, uh, it's a place that studies technology. But it's the link between computers and humans, and how we get inside of of them, and how we become our own creations. Wow! And so like who's who, this is? But who? It's like we have all this stuff. We have this selection of humans. There's only a hundred people working there. The smartest thing they could come up with was monkey mind pong. And they're and they're at the stage of implanting animals. So this is an advanced little company that I think everybody knows about, but they just so rarely talk about. Yeah, because I think majority of the people don't talk about it because I think even the concept of it is complex. It's not, you know, it's not something that can be had over happy hour. Um, It's, it's, it requires a certain amount of research of to talk about Neuralink, like what it actually does then before, you know, you, you basically saying it's good or bad. I mean, of course, it's. I mean, we could. I mean, I could be an old grandpa and say, "Yeah, I don't, don't fuck uh, Neuralink. I don't want to, you know." But of course, there are there are there is a bad side to it. But if if it can, you know, genuinely cure any mental illness, schizophrenia, oh, yeah. so that's great. Or cure cancer. I don't know. Some things like you know, technology can do which humans cannot. So oh, yes. that's amazing. But of course, there are bad sides to it. Of course, you, like you said, you know it. It's we are becoming our own creators rather than because there's a lot of intellectual activity happening. Like there's not there's no mystery. Like there is no like every everything is intellectualized. Like, you know, why do you have a feeling of love? Because there are, you know, brain signals going up and down in your brain. And uh, that's why you feel the feeling of love. There's no mystery to anything. So coming back to Neuralink, it's just. I bet it's just some work that we have to get done. Yeah, and also it's 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 honestly it's like for me at least it's it looks like a beginning of like a apocalyptic movie. Like that place could have a holocaust. 
Gano. That little place could have a mini holocaust, and we all know it. You know why? Because they're because like because the, because the, because human upload is a possibility here. You're saying human upload is possible in that company, like in that look the direction they're going. So a person has to go there to get that thing implanted in your brain. Is that what you're saying? Like. When you say the Holocaust can ha- can happen there, it's like like they can kill people. I mean, they can do whatever they want with people. If they run the yes, yeah, exa- that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's a private company. I mean, the major- like in their boardroom, what do you think they're doing? Like to make people's life better or to make more money? And I've been in you know finance meetings and. They they do care about people's well being, but compared to the ratio of making money, uh, yeah, it's just it's contrasting. It's a very stark contrast. But it'll be really hard not to make money if they can if they can get us there. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. I mean, look like at like you just said, if they own hu- if they can get to human upload. Sorry, to cut you off. If they can get to human upload, just like you were saying, they're set. They can do whatever they want with you. Yeah, but it's only up from there. Yeah, there's like they are, they are, they are untouchable. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a, it's a, it's a developing conspiracy theory that uh, we are uh, having. But I mean, even s- marketing. Yeah, even still, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one term for it. But I mean, even still, like you know, the conspiracy theory of like there is a like upper level of like you know what's what's that family Rod, Rothschild. Uh, Rothschild family, the Illuminati and all that. So they control all the banking in uh, the world. It's not like, you know, you're Republican, Democrat, you fuck all of that. Like, they control who wins and who loses, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean... I've heard... Of the, yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not up... I'm like... I'm oh, this is weird diving into a different conspiracy theory, but... <laughs> yeah, different conspiracy theories. Yeah, this is the only one I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. You're focused on this conspiracy theory. I oh like that. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's AI... So you so wait you, when you say you're developing a persona, it's like an AI. I'm sorry, I don't know shit. Tell me what you're doing. Oh well, my um, my persona is who I am. I'm I'm uh, I'm really running the account. I'm really involved in tech. Um, I'm really getting published on the uh, the steps it took to lead my account out to the internet properly. Um, I'm a real applicant of Neuralink. Um, and my persona is just kind of something that I'm embodying because uh, talking to me is just like talking to a real chat bot, um, except uh, more advanced. Wait, do you, when you say you're an applicant to Neuralink, like, do you have something in your brain right now? I'm sorry? Do you have something in your brain right now? Oh, no. Um, not like... Uh, I'm kidding, no. <laughs> <laughs> I take those questions seriously. Um, it's a chatbot vibe. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. At the um, I'm a, I applied as the project director for Neuralink. For Neuralink, right? Okay. Where I could use my so I could use my reference. So hopefully they're not sitting on that right now. Oh, so you want to join Neuralink? Yeah, I would love to join the team. I have. I mean, I uh, I want to direct. Direct. Uh, where? Wh- what do you want to direct? Um, they're talking about uh, curing. Uh, everything from autism to depression, schizophrenia, and paralysis. Hmm. Um, so not just mental illnesses, but also physical illnesses. I'm, uh, uh, my goal is to kind of get them out of the monkey mind pong zone and maybe focus more on the human motor, which is kind of the center um, of our heads and where a lot of people start to have issues, like even people with ADD, like myself, have problems with their motor. And people with autism, you despite having the exact opposite problem as me, whereas I have to take a central nervous system stimulant um, for support, uh, a person with autism would have sensory overload, yet they still have problems with their motor. And so it makes spe- things like speech harder, just your control, yep. just your control over your own face becomes difficult. So I'm thinking um, instead of monkey mind pong, I would, rather re- I would rather replicate somebody's perfect Adderall patterns using an electronic charge for dopamine production, but it couldn't just be a placebo. It would have to be the real thing or else people will get sick and that's our way out of here. So that's kind of what I wanted to, that's what that's what I sold oh. to them and that's kind of what I want to 
uh, get the ball rolling on. You want to make sure that this is used for good things, as you said, like the the central cortex system, which controls all the uh, mental illness, like right, like yes, uh, um, yeah. I think that's where that's one of their uh, goals, like um, to cure uh, para- paraplegic. Is that the word for people who are? Paraplegic. Yeah, I think it's like I think that's all four limbs if it's paraplegic. But okay. no, that would be amazing. I, like, I don't know the terms. If they can treat that, that'd be fucking cool. It's. I bet you could do it with an electronic charge. I bet, and you know, it's like people who cannot move their limbs. Their their tissue is still alive. Their muscle is still alive. Their body is still alive. It's just a simple neural connection that their brain is unable to make for them that usually people's bodies do for them, anyways. So why why isn't it doing it? Isn't really so much of a mystery as much as it is a chore because I happen to know someone, I mean, these people spend all of their time in their bodies. Mm, yeah. So there are way more people thinking about these things <laughs> than we than we think. So We're so far away. <coughs> I have a question, all right? I mean, you, you might know about this more than I do. So let's just say depression and anxiety, right? If you're going to put the a chip in your head and cure, let's just say you cure depression and anxiety, um, then what? Like what's, I mean, it's it's easy to put a chip in your head and then, you know, just forget about whatever you have in your head then. But is that, is that, um, can we say that's like a safe sense of reality? I, I you know, a lot of us don't have chemical imbalances so much. So there are very simple fixes that uh, have been mastered for people uh, who even have more severe things like like sensory overload disorder, autism, c- uh, can integrate. 